always has been my thing to, if I commit something, do something, I will do it, no matter how long it takes, what it takes. If I like seal the deal, then I don't stop until it's done. My motivations are mostly goal-based. I set a goal and once the goal is set, it's kind of the deal is sealed for me and then I do everything in order to make it happen. But if I got a challenge, which I don't know how to do it, I it maybe doesn't work the first time or the second time, but the only thing I know is I continue to search for a solution and maybe if it's the 20th thing I, that pop, pops up and that's the thing, then, then I stop it. Just, just, it's in me, I will never stop until the job is done. When uh, things don't go my way, I try to keep as calm as possible and just objectively evaluate what I can do to make it go my way. Like if I make a no rep, okay, the no rep is made and the only thing you can do by being upset is losing more time. So just quickly on the fly think, okay, what did I do wrong? It happened, but if I do it wrong again, then I will get upset. But now in this moment, I will only do good reps again. Or just think a split second, take a breath, what went wrong? Okay, it happens, but don't do it again. I've never seen else from my parents growing up. They, yeah, nothing came for free, nothing was given, and I saw just my parents working hard for everything. Shortcuts to me is, um, yeah, it's about working hard and working smart because that's uh, maybe a mistake I had in the past. Like, you can work so hard that it's not productive anymore. So, also being smart about training is very important, and that's something I learned a lot like, how to train around things. It's not because you're injured that it's done, it's like you can improve other things, you can make sure to the body doesn't get injured anymore you can so many ways to adapt training that before i would think i'm done now it's just like okay how to progress in a different way and it keeps challenging me to think different and yeah, keep things positive and keep moving forward having a coach in your corner that have done it several times makes his um, knowledge and his voice like even stronger like if he says something i'm i never doubt it i challenge it but it gives more strength to the words he say also when he says you can do something he doesn't pull it out of his ass he's following me for one year for longer he knows what i'm capable of and he will not tell me you can do something if you can't so you just blindly trust in what he says and this can unlock potential in you that you even didn't have. So it's definitely a huge advantage, which I wouldn't have on my own. You cannot do it for yourself.
Ram Shah puts this, all the things we do or have to do are not crazy things or hard things, but they just, it needs to be done and it needs to be done every day and very consistently. And that's also the mindset I, I have, like, it's not hard to eat clean. It's not hard to hit eight hours of sleep. It's not hard to have a good training session, but it is hard to do it every day, two times a day for six days a week and that's over periods of time, that's hard and that's what I like about No Shortcuts it just um, yeah, amplifies the mindset I already had and it makes it even stronger nice. things that you know the more you know that you still don't know and it just keeps challenging me to rethink relearn redo things like go deeper into this movement how to be more efficient how to cut split times how to cut rest times where can I win that split second Shortcut just goes hand in hand with who I am, who I want to be, yeah. amplifies the mindset I already had and it makes it even stronger.